University. Today's topic uh, on our video is going to be about power confirmation in the control box coming from the ship. If you have any problems whatsoever, that's the first thing to check is to make sure that we've got more than 12 volts coming to the control box. Uh, please understand the threshold right now that you cannot go below is 11 and a half volts. So if you go to check this using the procedure I'm getting ready to show you and you're at 12 volts, I would plug the boat into shore power or put it on a battery charger for at least 24 hours and then come back and do a diagnostics after that because if you're sitting at 12 volts static and you activate the system, I'd almost assure you you're going to drop below 11 and a half volts. So that being said, let's check the voltage coming into our box and see if uh, we've got appropriate voltage. So you got access to your control box, the lid's open, you've got your two terminals plugged into your two different actuators and then this one here closest to your dip switches is going to be the one we're going to check power. So what we're going to do is we're going to check negative is green and positive is red and if you look we've got 13.70 volts coming into the box which is fantastic, couldn't ask for anything better. The next part we're going to check because that's checking power from the ship to our control box but it doesn't mean it's getting to the circuit board so the next test is going to be one over to the orange and it's 13.7 volts it's either going to be identical or within a tenth of a volt of what you read off of red okay if you've got 13 13 13.7 volts on the red and the orange then you could proceed on to the next step with diagnostics that's that's fantastic voltage again anything less than 11 and a half I would not spend any more time trying to figure it out. I would put it on shore power, charge it for 24 hours, and then come back and uh, start again. Thank you. And uh, again, you can always go to shoreshade.com if you need any information. Feel free to give us a call. We're here to help.